Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Nav and today we're going to talk about the new proposed 777-10X and in this video we're going to look at the competitive field and how this places the Boeing 777-X in the market. Now the 10X would turn the 777-X family into a free member family which would make all the members of the 777-X more attractive for airlines. Now the 10X with 450 seats would have 25 more seats than the Boeing 777-9 so it's hovering around the 747-8 region. Now the range of the 10X is still unknown at this moment, with it being the most important factor that could determine its success. An educated guess for the range would be somewhere between 7,000 and 7,200 miles. There is an expectation from the customers that the 10X should have a range of 7,500 miles, which would mean more fuel tanks, bigger engines and a structural resizing. On paper the 10X doesn't have any competitors, and the 10X is seen by many as a direct competitor to the Airbus A380. Now the A380 can seat up to 544 passengers with a range of 8,200 miles. However, there are a lot of Airbus A380s flying around with less than 500 seats. The 10X could effectively compete with the A380 and even beat it in terms of cost efficiency. What needs to be said is that the A380 will be superior in the 500 plus seat market, but this market is a small one and likely unprofitable for any airline, apart from Emirates of course. Also for airlines, the 500 plus seat market is a risky one. The A380 has a high capital cost and is very hard to fill, making it very inefficient to operate. On the other hand, the A380 offers a standard of luxury that even the 10X cannot offer. So the 10X will target the lower bracket of the A380 market. Although the 10X can compete with the A380, I think Boeing will provide the ultimate blow to their very own Boeing 747-8 when they launch the 10X. The 777-9 can be operated in a free class configuration with 357 seats and the 10X would have around 378 and 405 seats in a free class configuration, 13 more than the Boeing 747-8. This means that the 747-8 will be squeezed by the Dash 9 and the 10X. An important thing to note is that the seat difference between the 10X and the A380 in a free class configuration is huge. Only a few airlines operate the A380 with approximately 405 seats. I think the 10X does make sense in some way but will not be able to beat the A380 in terms of luxury. The 10X would be geared towards the requirements set by the both carriers that are currently operating the A380, even on unsuccessful routes. The reason for the market segment being unsuccessful is because the A380 is too big to operate, with less than 450 seats. So far airlines have been serving this segment with an oversized plane, so the 10X seems to be a better fit for the job. It will take a while before the 10X will be launched, but the Chub 7 x program is supported by customer feedback, whereas the A380 was a project that did not center on the feedback of its customers. And in the end, the 10X could be the nail in the coffin of the Super Jumbos in general, not only for the Boeing 747-8, but also for the A380. Now I'd love to know what you guys think of the Chub 7 10X. Will it be a success or is Boeing trying to compete against the A380 for the sake of it? And if you enjoyed the video guys, then leave a like. Also, if you're new to this channel, then consider subscribing for more aviation videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.